soccer players with Kachikali United in Banjo say their last prayers for their teammates Shayu Fosani, who goes by Amphal. Sani lost his life in October, attempting to cross the Atlantic Ocean to reach Europe. Sani, together with two other teammates and about 200 others, left the Gambia via a fishing boat to the coast of Spain. A family friend, Diara Juf, says Sani was found lying dead after a routine boat cleaning exercise. After 30, 30 minutes of uh, cleaning the water from the boat, then they came back, they made him lie. They tried to see if he's still breathing, but they find out that he was not breathing and they performed um, this Muslim ritual before uh, ritual prayers and stuff like this. And um, then from there, they pray for him, then they throw him in the sea. Gambia's immigration department, the GID, told VOA that 2023 saw high numbers of people leaving the Gambia for Europe and say some people died during the Atlantic crossing. But the government hasn't yet released an official death toll. Ibrahim Gassama lost about five friends in October. He says his country's declining economy is driving many young people to seek greener pastures. The situation is getting harder in this country. That's why the people are, you know, moving in large numbers. Because this country, what we are told here is that, you know, focus on your education. After your education, you will get a good job you know, so that you could take care of your family and stuff like that. Yeah, it is, it is true that after education here, you might get a job. But the big question mark is, is that job for sufficient for you and your family? Some who have taken the trip have returned. A group of returnees have joined the Youth Against Irregular Migrations, or YIM, founded by young people who attempted to migrate to Europe. Now, they hope to fight against irregular migration by training young people with computer literacy skills. Lamin B. Bojan is a founding member. He is on a campaign to talk about his near-death experiences. This journey is not an easy journey. After for us, the time we were leaving, nobody tell us what is on the way. We thought that, you know, it was just, you know, a silver plate. You just step on it and go. So then we decided to say, at least, when we come back, we do advocacy, sensitize people, showing them that you know, this is not the right channel, at least. The GID says it has deployed resources to guard its coastline in a 24-hour surveillance and patrol exercise called Operation Zero Departures. They pledge to hand out smugglers profiting from irregular migration routes in the country. Sena Nutot for VOA, Banjul, The Gambia.